Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Bobby King Green, sorry, King Green versus Patty Pimblett. Uh, Bobby Green, 32 wins, 15 losses, one draw. He's 3-1-0-1 in his last five fights. The one loss that he has was against Jalen Turner seven months ago. You know, just coming off that Grand Dawson fight, he jumped right back into another camp, right back into another fight with Jalen Turner on short notice. Supposed to be someone else, if I'm correct. And then that person didn't make it, and then Jalen Turner stepped up and fought him. The worst stoppage in UFC history. It was absolutely disgusting. Then he comes back a couple months after that, which is never advised, and fought Jim Miller and beat the absolute crap out of him. Did get hurt, did get wobbled a few times in that fight, but still, three months ago, Bobby Green, at this point in his career, at 37 years old, is so active, it's unbelievable. Let's let's take a second and admire what this guy has done. He's 13-10, one and one in his UFC career. Let's look. So since oh my goodness. Okay, so since uh, 2022, he's fought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times in two years. Eight times in 24 months. Eight times. That's four fights a year he's been fighting. Unbelievable. And since the Rocky Alpha C fight, which is two and a half years, you know, he's fought he's had two fight two uh, two fights, two more fights. So ten fights in two and a half years. Excuse me. Holy macaroni. Well, Three years, I'm sorry. In a month, it'll be three years. He's had 10 fights in three years. So, yeah, that's like three fights a year, averaging-wise. That's unbelievable. Like, he fought Islam, 2022, February of 2022. Fought Drew Dober, 10 months later, under 10 months, nine months later. Gets finished by him. Fights, what is that? Four, three and a half months later, fought Gordon. Fought Gordon. Then... Uh, uh, three months later, three months and seven days, fights Tony Ferguson. Then two and a half months later, fights, fights Grant Dawson. Then uh, a month and a couple days later, he fights Jalen, fights Jalen Turner. Then, then four months and 11 days later, he fights Jim Miller. It's so crazy. So since 2023, he's had one, two, three, Four, wait, shoot. One, two, three, four, five fights. I mean, that's unbelievable. Well, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six fights. And it's so crazy. Because that's four months, that's three months, that's three months, that's a month. <laughs> what? What? That's four, four months. Dude, he's fighting so much. It's so crazy. He's the more active guy. He already has the experience factor. You know, Patty Pimblett is very good on the ground. I'll give it, give him more credit than his due. 15 finishes, has 11 first round finishes, 5 and 0, or I'm sorry, yeah, 5 and 0 in the UFC. He has three finishes in the UFC, two decisions. Went to a decision with Tony and Jared uh, Gordon, which he absolutely lost that fight, should have. Um, the guys that he's beaten aren't great guys uh um bobby green has the advantage in that aspect now he is a finisher he's very good on the ground and when he has guys hurt he's very good at finishing them 100 percent. i'll give him credit where credit's due like i said but the style of bobby green what's patty gonna do wait for bobby for three rounds i don't think patty will be able to do that now if he can props to him make bobby go to you props but i do think i want bobby to win so bad because it's Bobby Green, I think it's awesome. We're not gonna have him around much longer. I think that's the, the facts. Um, I am a little worried of the head kick ability of Patty Pimblett. I am worried about that because of the way that Bobby uh, fights and moves. I think Patty could set him up for his head kick, but also Patty Pimblett doesn't, you know, tuck his chin. His his chin's literally, literally, hello, literally. Just up in the air. I mean, it's it's just literally right there. It's so crazy. So crazy to me. But again, 
like I said, I want Bobby Green. He's fought better guys. He has a lot more experience. I just worry about the ability of Bobby to not get hurt in this fight because of all the wear and tear, all the consistency that Bobby has had. I I want Bobby to win, but I can't. Oh, God. I Like I said, I want him to win. I want to root for him, but I'm worried about Patty hurting him and then being able to finish him on the ground. I'm picking Patty Pimblin. It hurts my soul to say that because I want Bobby Green to win. I just think Patty will end up hurting him on some exchange and finding the finishing shot. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Peace.